And like we yeah. tell you, Tam Tam, you know the masquerade man. So mm-hmm. how do you get the name from? When Tam Tali say, Oko come down and beg a man pick me, and he do it two steps. What, 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 what? Say that again. What you say? Tam Tali, at his most popular saying was, Oko Konga, na beggar man pick me. Many times we hear the stories of these Africans who purchased this land, but they don't mean anything because we can't see them. They like story, like Nancy's story, like, you know, makeup story or something. How can we humanize them for us to understand them? Tell me about any stories you've heard about the BV Africans so that you can humanize them for us so we can say, aha, I know somebody like them. You know, I'm not going to tell you about stories. I'm going to tell you about no. Okay, good. A story that too? Yeah. Yes. In me time, mm-hmm. uh, we had Tam Tali. Okay. Cousin Thomas Williams. Uh, we call him Tam Tali. Mm-hmm. Tam Tali used to go back down. Mm-hmm. Tam Tali was among those many older folks that went to the back dam mm-hmm. on a regular basis. Okay. Depends on what's happening in the back dam. Well, they might go every day sometimes. Sometimes they go two times a week. They had the time. You'll be surprised to see how many people going in the back dam. Mm-hmm. You know, like people, oh, people say, if you play board or are you go be peep for see what's going on, mm-hmm. you know, they, you had at least 60, 70 people went into the back dam on a daily mm-hmm. basis. So how they go in? Right. Many of them went with boats. Mm-hmm. Some riding bicycles, some walking. Mm-hmm. And as small boys, be as I said, we learn to swim in the trench. Yes. Right, the same kind of. Yes. I don't know if we used to do it purposefully, but <laughs> we are always around when they come up from the back dam. Of course, it's purposely. Boat. <laughs> Mom, me never want to say anything so bad. Me <laughs> know you. Me never finish the end. Me never finish the end. I will be it. But then your winning chap come out. I will fish basket. Mm-hmm. With mango. White tea. Mm-hmm. Sarapu. And when you're done, you shot full of mango and then you go home. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> so now this produce that these fellas bring out on an afternoon late in the night from the back dam next morning plenty of, I go down with Uncle Joe donkey cat Uncle Joe been a well you had baby Joe and Uncle Joe Uncle Joe been a baby Joe father mm-hmm. Uncle Joe when he cat a come home on a night he asleep on a jackass cat he and them cat, them that here bring him home. Mm-hmm. Is either drunk or retired, mm-hmm. but he asleep. Every morning, Uncle Joe gone a border market or Starbuck market for carry people good stuff. You got women were involved, I like Miss Lilvorn Barker, Mrs. Mm-hmm. Grant. I don't know if you know them Grant people from BBS yes. Six and like, then Griffith Grant, people, yes, because no, I Grant. Because now right. I need which which um which is second opposed mm-hmm. which is opposable thumb right here yes mm-hmm. all right that lady used to go back down mm-hmm. and all she picked them being secondary school some of them being university mm-hmm. these were people who they were farmers but they did not many of them did not allow their children to become farmers they educated their children mm-hmm. they were progressive people. Yes. The more progressive in, in our village were farmers. They, mm-hmm. they were in that farming class. And like me yeah. tell you, Tam Tali, you know, the masquerade man. So mm-hmm. how do you get the name from? When Tam Tali say, Oko Congo na beg a man pick me, and he do it two steps. What, 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 what? Say that again. What you say? Tam Tali, at his most popular saying was, Oko Congo na beg a man pick me. <laughs> 